This is an old boomer trick, okay? When in doubt, turn on the tear spouts, right? And they're just gonna, he's, this guy is the uh, hedge fund manager and he is crying. Here, I'll turn off my, my thing so you can see. Uh, hold on, where am I at? Okay, cool. So his name is Cooperman. Senator, and then he says, um, he's talking right here. This is this OG son, this old man here. He starts crying, fake crying about, you know, I don't want people to get hurt. I don't want people to lose money and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, okay, guy. Literally, your whole job is like to bankrupt the ri the poor to make the rich richer. Are you, and you're going to sit here and lie? And they, they're, he's so old and out of touch that he thinks that, you know, that fucking um, people are going to buy this. And some dumb dumbs are, but the majority of people like us, the most based people in the world, the hot dude army, okay? Listen, that ain't going to work on us. That is not going to work on us. And take a look here. I mean, I think it's kind of obvious people can not only see the um, emotion on your face, but hear it in your voice when you talk about this, Lee. Why? I care. That's it. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg and my arm, even my fingers. The body I've lost, the comrades I've lost. Stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? I'm gonna make him give back our past. <laughs> oh man, listen. Have these people learned nothing from Gamergate? Have these people completely forgot that the internet always wins? Okay. Actually, I'll play the rest of it. I'll play the rest of it. Here you go. Here's the rest of the clip. Come on now. Police, get what you f***ing deserve! <laughs> oh, man. I love it. Listen, guys, this is good news, okay? Good news. This is just compound effect of people getting red pilled. Okay? Compound effect. It's happening everywhere. It happened with the Star Wars community, right? With the whole feminism being injected into The Last Jedi and ruining the Star Wars franchise. And guess what? Luke Skywalker just came back in The Mandalorian. And guess what? It was one of the most viral moments in pop culture history. Right? Uh, in American pop culture history. Dude, people sign up for Disney Plus. I'm a 35 year old man and I sign up for Disney Plus to see that crap. All right? So now, for you guys that don't know, let me just give you a TLDR what happened with the GameStop situation, right? All the guys on this subreddit, it's called Wall Street Bets. Okay? R forward slash Wall Street Bets. No spaces and they found out that these hedge funds were shorting the GameStop stock okay and they were shorting the stock very 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 heavily okay more than 120 percent and what this does is it literally crushes the stock and crushes the business these hedge funds are bullying these smaller companies and they're bullying AMC they're bullying because AMC's movie theater and last year, obviously everybody knows movie theaters went down, you know, um, Carnival Cruise, all that stuff, all the stuff, the airline stocks all went down, right? So what they ended up doing was they all got together on the Reddit forum and they're like, use the Robinhood app, okay? And then when you use this Robinhood app, what you're going to do is you're going to buy as much of the game stock a game stop stock as possible. And so the ticker code for GameStop is GME. 
And if you're on Twitter, if you put a dollar sign in front of the word, in the front of the letters GME, you can click it like a hashtag and you can browse everything on Twitter to see what's going on, okay? So now all these guys got together and what they ended up doing was buying so much stock that the way shorting works, right, is the more you hold a short position, the more money you lose until basically it's like this. Shorting is you make a prediction and, and, and shorting means you think the stock price is going to go down. All right. So these people made a prediction that the stock price was going to go down. And, and from the moment you make your prediction to the time your prediction comes to true. Okay. In between that time, you're constantly losing money. Okay. And so this hedge fund named Melvin Capital has lost billions of dollars because they were trying this they were trying to crush and destroy GameStop. The people got together and they said, "We don't want them to do this and we're going to do uh this uh rally." And they shot the price of GameStop stop from like it was like I think what was the low like 4 or 5 bucks and then it got all the way up to like uh 400 bucks. So, and they were saying, we got to push the stock up to a thousand and, and there was literally billions of dollars flowing into the market, right? Well, Robinhood is this application that allows you to buy stocks and cryptocurrency from your cell phone. They got pressure from the institutional, you know, the, basically the big government, big, big banks, and all that stuff, pressured Robinhood to lock people's accounts and people cannot buy any more GameStop account, a GameStop stocks, okay? They cannot buy them anymore. They locked everything down. And this allowed the institutional uh, investors, the hedge funds, et cetera, to uh, save their money and, and kind of, uh, you know, they cheated the system. The, game, the system is rigged and they locked people out of their accounts and this is actually illegal, and now there's class action lawsuits being filed. And people are seeing, Jesus Christ, this system is rigged. However, this is a good thing, okay? Matt W., I am supreme leader now. I am no longer high commander. How dare you? Um, now... With these people getting locked out of their accounts and they're dealing with outside manipulation, guess who is there to save the day and let them know, hey, there's another way. A lot of these people, oh, is that, is that on my teeth? Got that out. A lot of people now are realizing, wait a minute, you can't lock crypto? You can't lock Bitcoin? <laughs> Excuse me. You can't. Crypto markets never close. And this is red pilling a lot of people that decentralization is the future of everything because humans are scum. Humans cannot be trusted. Humans get corrupted with power, especially blue pill, filthy, disgusting normies. All right. So. Now. People are rising up, fighting back the system, and of course, guess what happens? They lock the system, and they shut it down, and they're, they're scamming all the people once again. I think the biggest thing that, that was really red-pilling for me, let's take a look at this. Hmm. Take a look at this. Front page of CNN Business. White supremacist internet gamers buy GameStop stock to purposefully bankrupt Jewish hedge fund on International Holocaust Remembrance Day. Written by Moshe R. Horowitz. Okay. This is why people hate the mainstream media. People don't dislike the mainstream media. People hate 
the mainstream media. People are filled with a vitriol of hatred to the mainstream media. They say like, oh, you know, Donald Trump was the guy that made this country divided. Anybody who says that is a moron, okay? Jake and Bake, the Twitch streamer said that. Jake and Bake, you're a fucking moron. I know we're pals, we chatted in real life, but you're a fucking moron too. The only thing that made this country more divided was the mainstream media. When you have talentless faces like Trevor Noah and Stephen Colbert and that little weasel British guy, what's his name? John Oliver. Okay, you have all these little weaklings that would died in you know, in the wilderness like two hundred years ago because they're all weak beta males. All these little worms, scum of the earth. They are the ones sowing daily seeds of divisiveness in our nation. And here again, let's just see this: white supremacist internet gamers. Really? So you just automatically know every person that's involved in what our Wall Street bets is a white male? This is why people hate them. And guess what? All they're doing is accelerating their demise. That's all they're doing. They are accelerating their demise. Anyways, that's my rant for the day. Shall we open the phone lines? Let's fire up these bad boys and see what happens.